low key i think my husband is just going through the most <laughs> as you know i am still pregnant so like i was actually laughing at his like message because i just sent him cute pictures of myself guys because wow i got the energy to comb my hair which took me two hours because when you're pregnant you're pregnant <laughs> and everything just takes time it takes forever so yeah so i sent my husband this cute picture i hope you can see okay the lighting but eh, guys so okay i sent my husband that picture i don't know i keep on looking there not on the camera so please do excuse me but i am the girl she thinks she is there you go guys for those who don't know who my name is don't be mystical whatever you like so as i was saying i was sending these cute pictures to my husband and then i'm like otherwise i was just doing this for you because whenever i do my hair my husband compliments me 150 000 times and it's one of the things he had a good prayer request and then so i also take that box girl <laughs> i'm joking guys i know Lala. but so he says Ish, i made the best choice to see my daughter no oh, that is this is so thoughtful of you like guys i really did just comb my hair because of my husband i wanted to look cute and then i said because there's something that i want and then i said jokes guys i was really joking and um he says he sends you know those thingies what's that food that uh, that thing that looks like a, a dick and that food that looks like a bite <laughs> and then i don't do such like i'm 93 i'm like no i don't want sex you're so naughty are you even mine that's how so many lonely guys but i feel like guys my mom is just going through the most but eh, perks of being in marriage hey buddy looking for beautiful fruits otherwise guys i'm still pregnant oops that is my okay okay i was please don't judge me i was getting cold i was wearing this like in bob tube type of vibes dress and it's the most comfortable dress at the moment child i'm not buying any clothes until i give birth because while i buy things and they fit me for two weeks so that is my bump at the moment i hope you can see that is my bump that's where we at that's where we at oh my baby's kicking so don't judge me how the manager I was getting a bit cold. This house has tiles and I need to sort that out because yeah, it is what it is. I think I need to get a huge mat. We do have a gas heater and um yeah, just the preparation of the baby and stuff so it can be warm for her. As you know, I'm having a baby girl. But get yeah, guys, I'm here just to give you a feedback how it's been i know it's been a while but i am back we are here again with my beautiful face um speaking about all pregnancy stuff so what i'm going to speak about it's braxton hikes contractions i've never heard about it they say meet uzabon get pregnant so that you can know these things so braxton hikes actually i want to read it what google says i don't say what's on my brain my brain <laughs> So Braxton Hikes contracts typically start on your third trimester of pregnancy. They arrive from time to time, often in the afternoon or evening, especially after you've had an active day. You won't notice any real patterns, but Braxton Hicks contracts may come more often, closer to the due date. Um, no one shared this to me. Like, wow, guys. I only know one, one of my friends who said she had Braxton Hikes, but I was like, oh, okay. I don't know 
and I don't know why I didn't research it. And she never like uh, said you plung, 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 until I had them and I told her, girl, why didn't you say this thing is painful? And um, it's basically um, when you search Dubraxin, um, is it Hicks or Hikes? Uh, yeah, mean labor is near. Also known as false, it's like false labor pains basically. And it's like your ligaments type of thing. He's like, I'm a tamba, you're cool and everything and stuff. But baby is growing, making space and all of that. Yo, guys, son, I had them. And it was around about 11 p.m. I felt them and it's like period pains when they start but they were not heavy and then it went away and then around about one o'clock yeah. hey guys I went through the most I was crying I was literally crying it comes for a few minutes guys and then it goes away it comes for a few minutes and then it goes away but you need to make sure that it does not last more than an hour if not you have to go to the hospital you see but i was crying my oh my baby's kicking my baby's kicking but it mustn't last over like more than an hour otherwise you have to go to hospitals just in case something is up and everything but yo it was painful hi guys I actually imagine that if that was painful how much more um how much more when giving birth and i'm going natural so i was like chill chill maybe i need to consider <laughs> a c-section but they also say c-section has its pros and cons and natural has pros and cons so none is better i know some people are like oh c-section is better natural is better i to guys do what works for you but okay. guys it was so painful I was crying and what I hated the most while I'm having all these control I even to walk that's how painful it is and my husband tried to massage me I was crying then I'm vomiting then pity pity my stomach is running guys these are some of the things like pregnant people don't speak about and guys it's not nice it's really really not nice and then whatever i'm trying to eat i'm just nauseous third trimester really, guys i'm so nauseous uh, i'm vomiting like the vomiting is back and oh my word can you speak about how your back hurts all of a sudden like literally i'm going to show you guys it hurts it hurts here it hurts here i think it's because you're carrying the baby and stuff and it's very important to do exercises and all of that but the braxton hikes they hurt here guys here if you're a guy sorry if you're watching this but they hurt here and even when you bend yo guys it is painful it is so so painful but um Oh yeah, and then my legs were so painful, but something that really helped and also was suggesting to calm me down, I took like, I boiled, sorry, <laughs> pregnancy break, I boiled uh, hot water, but not too much, and I put it in my hot water bottle, and then I put it on like, you know, like I'm a tumble, like your bones and stuff, and they're a bit my abdominal pain and it it became better and that's what they suggested and then got cut a bit as i was saying um i got it for the second time but it was not as severe as before um but it was painful but my weekend was just went yeah i think what caused it i went for um we took like a walk like i love walks guys i don't know what's me in nature but it just calms me down and stuff i went for a walk and with my husband but we went for a longer walk and went to the park and then when we came back i took a nice long bath hot tub with my husband we had a great conversation and then we <laughs> we did married married things people and then what's up Oh yeah, another thing is why I think that's what caused it actually. I was too active. Ninga be judge, don't judge me. <laughs> so I think uh, that caused it, 
and I was like I'm never going for walks again because I was just so trauma and yeah oh yeah while I had Braxton Hicks the baby is like Shaya hey karate guys karate 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 but okay all I'm going to say trimester is different for everyone it's not for the faint-hearted and I think another wake-up call was that my maternity bag is not ready as yet and going in and out in hospital and your maternity bag is not in it like ready yet is a bit risky so don't be in Dolby. I guys I'm gonna be honest with you I'm very lazy like during this pregnancy yes i work but nicest thing i work from home so whatever i do i do it sitting in my bed or on my desk and stuff but like walking around even walking around bayways around the mall you i it's a lot of admin for myself and going in different types of shops i hate so much admin and i don't want to do online shopping and then when it comes i'm like Ugh, it's not what i wanted so I'm very lazy, so don't be and tell me, buy things while you still have energy. I'm still thinking of, I oh, how can I forget my husband while I had the Braxton Hicks for the first time. He's like, oh yeah, it felt, guys, it seemed like it felt so much better when I had to push. I was like, to my husband, I think I need to push. <laughs> and then he's like, push and do, no. push and do. But I, 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 I don't, I, I. <laughs> that you all, i think i need to push but hey i'm not ready for the long done as go <laughs> but his face guys he was like hi, 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 hi. <laughs> he was so strong because he thought the baby is coming and he was like hey what else do we need for your maternity bag i'm never going through that again so that is the story of my life child but it's very important as well to have someone who supports you who's there for you and i think that is very important yay guys it's very important support is very important and people just check up on your variety this is what you can do have a mom community which i have it on instagram which i'm so thankful for so i'm just sharing my journey um hopefully if i come back again I'll be holding my new news, my new news, my new news baby, new news baby. But guys, all I'm saying is that pregnancies are not the same. Um, first trimester was hectic. I'm not going to lie. Like I was vomiting five times a day. It was not nice. Your constipation issue, guys. If you could first time having, you might have constipation. You might throw up all the time. And um, my bum showed first trimester basically some people don't show and second trimester was fine I'm not gonna lie I was eating kimonati everything yay yeah, yay yeah. but I suffered from fatigue though like fatigue was heavy I just want to sleep and guys please share down below hey Asana sometimes the pregnancy pills we have to drink it's like it makes me more tired more yeah so I decided to take them at night so that is working at it can it still be productive with work and everything so if you ever do have braxton hugs i i would suggest that you search about it ask your doctor if they are severe don't wait for an hour because wow wow but for some odd reason i'm not um scared about giving birth i don't know why i think i'm at a point where i am ready to to have a baby i'm ready for motherhood i'm ready for this journey like people are like oh hold on guys hold on a minute sorry about that people are like oh enjoy while you're still pregnant because once the baby is here you're gonna have sleepless nights but guys i'm ready for sleepless nights that's how ready i am and i'm thankful for the journey one thing about me i embrace every journey that god gives me the opportunity and i think like i'm 28 years old turning 29 and i'm at the right age to have my first baba and i think there's a time for everything and this time is a time to plant 
which it, the seed was planted it's time to have a family and that's where I'm at and I'm grateful so I'm just here to say that embrace every journey um, people might say oh it might be hard might be hard but define your heart I'm super excited for the sleepless night super excited to take it easy like you know but i'm super excited to navigate and learn about motherhood it's something that i don't know about but also just because you don't know anything about it it doesn't mean other people have to dictate on how you parent we were reading the book of proverbs and it was speaking about how you should like teach your kids and everything and i think the most powerful thing is to let god like teach you how to teach your kids like basically how to navigate parenthood basically these kids are god's gifts so all we have to do is and that's the best gift that i can ever do to god is to make sure that my kids are are on the right track i'm so excited guys and just a tip just because other people have had kids it doesn't mean when you like a first time mom or second time mom you have to listen to them because pregnancies are different are different don't listen to everyone people are going to tell you why she's eating stiff okay not stiff up mash not this do what works for you and your baby guys peace please do like share and subscribe and it's good to be back Mwah.